This is an example of a system of inequalities. Y is greater than 2x and Y is less than 3. And the only way to solve a system of inequalities and the only way to write your answer happen to be graphically. Uh, I color code my graphs to make it obvious what I'm graphing and I suggest you do the same. Um, so the first line is dotted shade above, the second line is dotted shade below, um, and so you see where you see blue is part of the top one and where you see red is the bottom inequality. And where they overlap, I shaded in super dark and I used purple because red and blue make purple. The whole point of this exercise is to figure out where they overlap. So this part here is the solution set. This whole region right here that goes on forever uh, in that direction, that is the solution set. And that's what you're looking for when you graph inequalities, uh, systems of inequalities. You're looking for where they overlap. So this is the solution set. Now for this example of how to solve a system of inequalities, remember the only way to solve it is by graphing, and your solution is your graph, so it has to be pretty high quality. And I am looking for the region where they overlap. Um, now you may have noticed that these two lines are parallel, same slope different y-intercepts. But that doesn't mean there's no solution because I'm not looking at just the boundary lines, I'm looking at the regions of overlaps. So I'm going to choose my colors, I'm going to use yellow for the top line. And that's an exclusive, so it's going to be dotted. So I'm going to choose yellow dotted. Uh, 3x minus 4, the boundary line has a y-intercept down here at negative 4. And a slope of 3 means I go up 1, 2, 3 spaces over 1. 1, 2, 3 spaces over 1. So I have my uh, dots, and I'm going to connect them with a dashed line or dotted line. And once I have the boundary line drawn in, I need to choose what region I'm going to be shading in. And so I can test 0, 0. And if I test 0, 0, I have 0 is less than 3 times 0 minus 4, or 0 is less than negative 4 which is false because 0 is greater than negative 4. That means that this line is going to be shade below. So I can go ahead and shade below. Now that's boundary line number 1 taken care of. Now I'm going to graph the second boundary line and this time I'm going to use blue. It is also exclusive so it is dotted. Y-intercept at 2, slope of 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1. And it's dotted, so I'm going to do the same thing and graph another dotted line. And they are parallel, so yay, I knew that ahead of time. It means my graph is good. And now I have to decide if it's shade above or shade below. And so I'm going to test a point. I can test 0, 0 again. And if I test 0, 0, I get 0 is greater than 3 times 0 plus 2 or zero is greater than two, which is false. So that means I'm gonna shade this one above. And remember, the solution to a system of inequalities is the region of overlap, and there is no region of overlap, so this one has a solution set that is empty. Now I had to graph it to make sure, because if this blue line had been shade below, then this whole region down here would be green. Or if they were both shading the opposite directions, they could be, you know, the region in between. So just because the lines are parallel doesn't mean it's no solution because you can actually have, you know, this space up here, this space down there, or that space in between. It's all about the region, not just the lines. Now for this example, I have two lines that are in standard form. So I'm going to find the x and y intercepts of the line. I'm going to use red for the first line. And since it's inclusive, because the or equal to, I'm going to use a solid line for this. Um, the x-intercept is where x is 2. And the y-intercept is where y is negative 4. So I have my two points, and it's a solid line. So I'm going to connect them with the solid line. And now I'm going to decide if I need to shade above or below that line. 
And so I'm going to test the point 0, 0 because it's not on the boundary. So 2 times 0 minus 0, is that less than or equal to 4? Is 0 less than or equal to 4? And that is true. So in this case, I'm going to be shading above. Now my second line, I'm going to be graphing in blue. It is also inclusive, so it's a solid line. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to graph uh, by using the x and y intercepts. This one has an x-intercept at 5 and a y-intercept at 4. And it's also a solid line, so I'm going to connect the, that solid line, or those two dots with the solid line. And I have to test a point, and I can test 0, 0 because it's not on the boundary. So is 4 times 0 plus 5 times 0 greater than or equal to 20? And last time I checked, 0 was not greater than or equal to 20. So that is false, so that means I'm going to shade where 0, 0 is not. So in this case, I'm going to shade above the blue solid line. And I need to look carefully at where things overlap because I need to make that obvious. That's where the solution set is. So I see the red and blue intersect here, so I'm going to shade that in extra dark with purple because red and blue make purple. You can also do yellow and blue make green or red and yellow make orange or just some mishmash of colors. So this is the solution to my system of inequalities and any point in this region here uh, is going to make those inequalities both true. So for the second check for understanding, what I want you to do is determine if the point 2, negative 1 uh, belongs to the solution set of the system y is greater than 2x minus 1 and y is less than 3x.